Hello once again, it's Dan here in Virginia. Today I thought I'd take a few minutes just to give you a, a <clears throat> quick little uh, tip that I've learned flying my beloved slow stick. As you can see, this uh, slow stick is uh, about well beat up. It's about two years old. It's still one of my favorite airplanes. Everything you see on this slow stick, anything in yellow or anything in uh, red <clears throat> is actually an upgrade <clears throat> from Millennium RC. Very good company, make very good products. This engine mount, this battery holder, this landing gear, which I, is a, I'm going to talk about in this video. And uh, this is a particularly neat little thing in the back here. This makes your tail wheel steerable. But for today, I'd like to talk about this landing gear. This is called the Millennium X <coughs> landing gear. It's carbon fiber rods, has nice, uh, I guess you call them wheel trucks. It's nice and wide, and I've had several of them. It's a great upgrade, and here's one of my earlier ones. <clears throat> this one here, but uh, one thing I found with them, if you put on these larger wheels, like I have right, right here, when you land, and you land a little bit off on one side, or a little bit crooked or something, this portion right down here where these come together, you can see the line right there. When you build these, you use CA glue, but <clears throat> the CA glue, will, this thing will pop down when you hit and put too much pressure on this uh, side of the wheel. This, this will often pop down. It won't completely break on you, but you can snap it back up. But what I found is, <clears throat> in this second uh, set that I've got here built up, <clears throat> I go back to some of my good old fashion tricks of different kinds of glue and one of my favorite is <coughs> this JB quick weld this is great stuff <coughs> it's a two-part epoxy you simply mix it up <coughs> two little dabs one to one mix it up this is the quick set now this only takes five minutes to set they have a normal real strong stuff that takes a half hour to set so get the get the quick set just mix it up on a little card just like you would any two-part epoxy and what you do is come down here on these wheel trucks and you can see right here where you just take your toothpick and you put it over top of this area that tends to split out. Once you put it over top of that area, I hope you can see this better, is uh, right here you can see you sort of encapsulate that area and as a secondary thing you capture this little nut. So now, all you have to do to adjust the wheel, you don't have to use a wrench or a nut drive or anything on the nut. You simply come around here and adjust <clears throat> the screw in and out to tension the wheel for how you want it to spin. But this has worked great. I've had, uh, oh, I don't know, about 10 flights <clears throat> since I did it to this uh, particular slow stick, 10 flights. And it works like a champ. These have not broken out. Even you can land crooked on one wheel, tip it over, and it solved the problem of that breaking out. So anyway, thought I'd pass that along to you. JB Quick Weld, it's great stuff. Fly safely and talk to you next time. Out here.